Hey everyone, she got this, the Anchor Bluetooth Folio keyboard case with the iPad Air 2. As you can see, this package is pretty simple, easy to open package. And you can slip it out as well as the sleeve. And then here's the back side, nothing too crazy, pretty simple. Which is, you know, goes with all of Anchor cases. It comes with its own micro USB charging cable, you can see, not too bad. Even has a serial number on there, and decent length. And then here's the folio itself. And it also comes with a user manual, tells you how to pair it and things like that. You know, all the specs you need to know, wherever you want to look. So it has Bluetooth 3.0, and standby, standby day about 300 days, and charge time is 2.5 hours, which is just about correct. I plug in, it charged about like an hour or so, because, you know, it's pretty much charged up when I receive it. So it just needs a little bit of a kicker to it. But the battery size is 800 mAh, which means it's going to last a pretty long time in standby. But either way, here you go. Inside is the keyboard itself. Pretty nice full size keyboard. So this is the folio right here and leatherish type of backside up here. And the side's also leather, so all around it's a leather folio. It's like a leather like pretty much everywhere. Let me move this away. So as you can see, this is the keyboard right here. Pretty full size keyboard. Has a lot of FN buttons, so you hold the FN button right here and just tap each of these keys that you want to access. This is the highlight all button, and then you have to cut, pay, copy, and paste. Then you have all these are through the blue buttons, which is the FN function key, so you have to hold this to activate those. And then you have the home button, you have the lock button, the end of brightness, like you dim it down, brighten up, search, language button, so you switch languages, that's what the glow button really means. Keyboard button, in case you want to bring up the keyboard. Then you have the backwards, pause, play for for music or movies but it really depends if you have that anything up at that time because if you have something up and you click off to another app then it's gonna not work then that's pretty much how the operating system works though so can't do anything about that volume down volume up uh, this is mute volume down volume up then you have the bluetooth button right there as well now the interesting thing about this unit it doesn't have a bluetooth like a power on and off button it just you know you just plug it put your ipad right here and it'll turn on itself and on the side you have the micro usb so you can charge the, 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 the um, keyboard itself and there's two LED lights over here as well. So for now, I'll show you that this is how you turn it on. So you have to have the iPad on this and it'll be magnetically attached and you see there's two lights right here. So there's two lights that came on real quick and it disappeared. But either way, let me just install this part right here. So we just pop it in like this, slide it up into it. That's how you install the iPad into this part. But you make sure, you know, the home button's on the right side, because if it's on the left side, then most likely the sleep function won't work. So you can just close it like this, and it'll be asleep, and it wakes up, see? So it does have auto sleep. You heard the sound? No problem at all. Now uh, the most important part is you have to have it like this for it to hop in. So keep this in mind, you have one angle, pretty much. I mean, you can't roll it this way, I mean, you can't go this way either. So it's a one angle set, which is not too bad. I mean, it's like about a little bit over 90 degree angle backwards. But not too bad, it's angled like this, so let me show you this real quick. So this is the angle of it. It's a decent angle, it's not bad. I mean, you can sit further back or forward, and the thing about this case is it shouldn't be put, like, you know, all the way back, it's not won't be too good. I mean, you can still be put like this if you really wanted to, but it's not going to be as comfortable for you to use. But it's easy to set up, I mean, you could use one hand to set it up as well. I mean, just close it like this. But that's the thing about folios, it's a one-hand setup. You'll need to, you know, spend too much time adjusting anything. But either way, most important part is Bluetooth setting. So go to the Bluetooth setting, go into Bluetooth, where is it at? Let's go back in here. Well, let's see. Anyways, oh, there it is. So go to Bluetooth setting, turn the Bluetooth on by holding the buttons right here. So you see the blue light is blinking there. Blue light blinking means, you know, ready to pair. Now, here it is, Anchor A7722. Tap on it real quick. Now it says enter code 4468 and hit enter. So 4468, enter. Paired. Easy. No problem at all. So this does nothing because, you know, you just have to hit these two buttons at once to go to the home screen. And, you know, I just write some notes right here real quick. You know, it's like, oh, this is a race. And it's like, Q W E R T Y, no problem at all. U I O P. So yeah, no problem at all. These keys are working, so they have a bunch of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. They have the dash. Then you have, you know, your equal sign, no problem at all. You delete it. And then if you hold the function key, you can highlight all. And let's say you want to cut it. And you say, oh, you want to paste it. Actually, I just accidentally wrote over it. But yeah, you get to use that. And just highlight all, and then you cut it. And then you could 
paste it, paste it, paste it. Same thing. Or you can just highlight, you know, certain parts of it. Holding shift. Control it. Oh, let's say I want to just copy this. So FN, C, and then, you know, it's like, see, they have that right over the buttons. X is cut, copy, paste, XCV. So it's really nice. And let's say, you know, I'll use this. So you just FN and then V. So it's like Control V, Control V. Same thing, just like a regular keyboard, which is nice. I mean, that's a really thought out layout. So the page up and down, so this is how you use it. Page up and down, left and right. It should might not work on most, like, you know, if you can't go between your internet, like, apps and stuff. Because, you know, Apple just doesn't have that set up. Android works, but not on Apple. So, you, like, you know, there's nothing happens right here if you hit left and right. Keep that in mind, that's what the arrow keys are for, really. It's for your text boxes, basically. But overall, not too bad. This thing works pretty well. And all the buttons are working, so let's go back to home button. As I said, I show you. Now let's say lock it. Upon all darkness, brightness, search, language, any languages, nothing. Then nothing's gonna happen. On-screen keyboard only works if you're in notes. So let's say you don't want the keyboard popping up, easy. And you can pause, play backwards, backwards. You want to turn down the volume. Now you have to hit the FN. So keep that in mind. Always hit the FN to control it. Mute, volume down, volume up. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. So it works just fine. Easy to use, pop it up together. So yeah. So once again, this is the Anchor Folio Bluetooth keyboard case for the iPad Air 2, and hopefully this one helped you. And if you can see right here, camera hole wide open, no problem at all. Right here, this is how this looks like with the keyboard. So you have the, you have access to your headphone jack, you have access to the sleep button. Then you have access to the volume. You can see the you can see those speaker holes right there, no problem at all. Charging ports accessible. Then you can also charge your keyboard at the same time. But overall, not too bad. You can reach into there and hit these two buttons still. It's barely able to reach in there, but you know, you're not going to be trying to sneak into your iPad anyway. But overall, not too bad. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If not, thanks for watching.